Hi Space Cats, I'm Dr. Maggie Lou. Welcome back to my channel. I realized recently that I've never really talked about my main research interest, clusters of galaxies. These cosmic giants are one of the most fascinating and complex objects in the universe, and studying them can give us insights about the nature of the universe itself. So in this video, I'm gonna explore what clusters of galaxies are, how they form, and what they can tell us about the universe. First, let's start with the basics. Clusters of galaxies are groups of galaxies that are bound together by their gravity. They can contain anywhere between a few dozen to thousands of galaxies, as well as large amounts of gas and dark matter. But we will usually call these smaller ones galaxy groups rather than clusters. The division between the group or the cluster, though, is not well defined, so let's just call them all clusters for now. These clusters are the largest structures in the universe. They are a quadrillion times the mass of our sun, and their study has the potential to unlock some of the universe's deepest mysteries. The formation of clusters of galaxies is shrouded in mystery, with competing theories suggesting that they form through the mergers of smaller structures, or through the collapse of protoclusters under their own gravity in the early universe. But regardless of how they form, the study of galaxy clusters gives us insight into the early stages of our universe's evolution. When you look at the large-scale structure, meaning the distribution of matter in the universe on very large scales, scales of hundreds of millions of light years or more, you see the very structured layout of empty voids, strand-like filaments that connect together at the dense nodes. This is where galaxy clusters live, the nodes, the densest parts of the universe. Galaxy clusters therefore shed light on the large-scale structure of the universe and the history of its evolution. They can reveal the properties about the universe, like its geometry, its age, and its composition. This is cosmology. The number of galaxy clusters is intricately linked to the amount of the elusive dark matter and dark energy in the universe. Here, we're looking at two different simulations, one with dark matter only and one with dark matter plus dark energy. Notice in the dark matter only simulation, we get more nodes and denser structures. This means that if we know the number of galaxy clusters in the universe, their mass, and their distribution, we can figure out how much dark matter and dark energy there is. Observing clusters of galaxies, though, is not an easy task. We can use a range of different techniques to study them. Optical telescopes allow us to see the galaxies in the clusters themselves, while X-ray and radio telescopes are used to observe the hot gas that fills the space between the galaxies. But just 1% of the mass of a cluster is in the form of galaxies, and 9% in the form of hot gas. The remaining 90% of matter that makes up the bulk of a cluster's mass is in dark matter. This can be inferred through the gravitational influence on the light from distant galaxies. The gravitational lensing effect will warp the light of galaxies behind the cluster, with more massive clusters warping the galaxies more. Galaxy clusters are our best evidence to dark matter. When two galaxy clusters collide together, we can see the hot gas shock. The galaxies themselves pass right through each other, and that's quite expected, they're quite far spaced out. But the dark matter, surprisingly, also completely passes through undisturbed. This tells us that dark matter is non-interacting, even with itself. Or, if it is, then the amount must be tiny. The separation between galaxies, gas, and dark matter can also be measured and can put constraints on exactly how much interaction there is going on and the interaction cross-section of dark matter. Studying clusters of galaxies, their compositions and interactions thus allows us to investigate fundamental physics. But my research is more centered on detecting and measuring the mass of galaxy clusters for cosmological measurements. The study of galaxy clusters is a fascinating and important area of research that has already given us many insights into the nature of the universe that we live in. With continued research and exploration, we can hope to learn even more about these awe-inspiring and complex structures and the universe that we live in. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave me a like, share, and subscribe.